Jean Cernan managed to unroll and tear off strips of duct tape in an attempt to repair the damaged fender. And Gina, how are you doing on that fender? All right, I'm done. If that fender stays on, I'm going to take a picture of it. Is that like some sort of mending award? Let's hope. Keep your fingers crossed and I'll be more careful around the fenders. Okay, it's really frustrating not being able to find the end of a roll of tape, so here's how to find the end of a roll of tape. And Dina, how are you doing on that fender? Bob, I am done. If that fender stays on, I'm going to take a picture of it. Is that like some sort of mending award? Let's hope. Keep your fingers crossed and I'll be more careful around the fingers. Okay, copy that. His quick fix solution held out. We started off with a rover having a damaged fender and a repair kit on it. And then we went on to rovers that had no problems at all with the fender. They were complete. And now we are back on to rovers that have got damaged fenders and repairs on them. Now folks, here's a close-up of that clamp they are supposed to have used. I wonder what on earth astronauts would have wanted with this on the moon. Take a look at it. The top part is a clamp with a vertical screw nut. And the bottom part hanging down looks to be a base plate for sitting it on a desk or something. Now, something very strange here. Notice how that base plate is touching the wheel. Now, if it was up to a genius like me, I would have said there's no purpose of keeping that base plate on at all. That could get scagged by the wheel as the rover is traversing and it could rip off the fender repair. So what I would do, I would remove that square base. It is serving no purpose, is it? So why risk damaging the work? Meiwan, look at these two cropped back wheels from two different photos. Now on the left, it's only faint. You can see the left front clamp. It's very faint. It's not a real clamp, it's just airbrushed in on a computer. But you can see it there. But look on the photo on the right. There is no sign of any clamp whatsoever, folks. Right over there, we're going to have a little talk about these little bunny rabbits on the moon. Mysterious Mystery sent me a reply stating because I said the gloves are full of air, how do I expect them to walk? Well, I'll give him an answer why they should be able to walk. The simple reason is, when you see footage of them on the moon unrolling duct tape with gloves filled with air, they should be able to walk. They should not be jumping about like little bunny rabbits. If you want to say, oh, they did that to get to a place quicker, we'll give you that one. But when they're supposed to be walking around the limb, doing a little experiments, is tell me when you can see them walk. They do not walk, they do little bunny hops. So start to think a little bit more what we're saying. Don't keep trying to send me fancy words to try to baffle me because even if I don't know all the words Google is only a fingertip away don't you realize that are you trying to make yourself look more intelligent than what you are it doesn't impress me I see right through you and I see right through the rest of them you're talking to a wise guy so instead of saying ambulate just say walk there's no need for it. You're not some big barrister that's coming out with all these fancy words, trying to confuse the opposition, because it won't work. Now, I'll have a debate with anybody. If I think I'm wrong, I'll admit I'm wrong. But I'm not wrong. They did not go. Go, 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 go,